Hi, now in this video of React, we will start reading some collections kind of data in React application. Suppose you have some JSON file or any kind of JSON data which you want to read. So how to deal with the multiple records or multiple data in React, we are just going to do that in this particular video. So let's see a practical implementation of working with the collection kind of object in React application. So now in order to deal with the collection here, first thing that I have done inside is creating this app means the particular component which we are working for. And inside that I have taken a state with the name called EMPS inside which I have placed these five records. All right. Each record has three fields inside that is ID, name and salary. Here I have not used the constructor. If you want, you can put the constructor and just use this keyword along with this date. Now, after that, we have the render method, which is actually returning the records out there. But before going into that, the first thing that we will do is we will create the element EMP first and which I have done right here in this EMP.js. So basically what I have done inside here, I have taken an EMP constant EMP and inside that what actually I'm doing is I'm just returning the table row with the children and salary. When I say children, what does that mean? Here you can see that I have placed one tag inside that is called EMP in which salary is the attribute and name is the children means the value of that in value which I have placed inside the tag between the tags all right so this name is basically called the children right here while salary is basically a property so I can directly access that all right using props dot salary so whenever you will put this thing out there I will return this particular row this row which is having 50% of width, all right? And then TD, couple of TDs, like the children and salary. Now let's come back to here. And when we will return from the render method, what we are doing is we are returning a div. As we know, inside this render, we can return only one element at the parent level. So here at the parent level, I have this div, inside which I have this table. So in table, if you want to put some style or something, you can actually use these binders as the expression. All right. So you will not use the typical CSS syntax, but you will have to pass the styles like this, like width, 500 pixel color blue. So it will change the color of the text to blue. Now here you can see I'm returning the TR and TD just because here I have placed table and T body. So obviously inside the table and T body, I will put TR. If you want to put the that in the list format, if you have placed UL here, then in that particular case, you will put the LIE. All right. So just you have to see which child should be placed inside the means how the nesting of the tag should go on. So inside this T body, the main thing comes, which is this dot state dot EMPS. This will access this collection. And now here we will use the map method in order to tell how I want my records to be shown. So here I am using an arrow function. So inside that arrow function, this EMP, which is of this employee type means any record of it. All right. So it will be of EMP type and each EMP would be having three different values, three different properties, ID, name and salary. So here itself, I told that as far as the salary is concerned, I want to make it as the property. And as far as this name is concerned, I will put that as a child element of this EMP tag. And make sure when you are returning, you are putting the parenthesis on the same line. Now, as soon as you will do that, obviously, where I have defined this EMP, I have imported this EMP here, but it is coming from this particular file, which I have just shown you. So from this particular value, each and every record will be returned. All right. And will be rendered over the 
browser. So when I will save all these changes and will come to the browser, here you can see there are five records which I have put Paul, Sam, Sid, John, Alice and all the five records have been placed there in the browser in the tabular format. If you want you can put some styles for the table as well which will bring the border, border color, border width and some other things. Now after that let's come back to the browser and here I will press the F12 just to check my console and here you can see like there's a warning each child in an array or iterator should have a unique key property. As you know that here we have a field called ID which can be set as the key because the ID should be unique but so far I haven't used that. So in our next video we will see how to make the use of keys and how to perform some operations like updation and deletion when you are working with the collection. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.